Hello everybody out there on the internet, this is Andrew Salas, back with another great tech tip from smallbusinesstechtips.com. Uh, today we're going to talk about remote tools and what they could do for you and what capabilities uh, you could take advantage of. More specifically today we're going to be talking about Log Me In here and uh, what it could offer and what capabilities you could take advantage from that. Over the course of the next few videos we'll go over into some of the VNC programs and just straight VPN to get onto your network. Uh, it's basically if you're going to be away from the office uh, and uh, you need to access anything on your network, what's the best way to do it? Cheapest and uh, the most capability for uh, w for what it offers, a LogMeIn is great. And uh, if you were to uh, start from scratch, you would just go to a browser and go to www.logmein.com. But uh, since I already have it open here, I'll just bring it up and I have a shortcut on my desktop too because I use it quite frequently. And it's really, really easy to set up. <clears throat> All you'd have to do is create an account. First off, you hit this create account button, and uh, has you put in your email, your password that you're going to be using, and time zone, and it asks you a few marketing questions about if you're going to be using this for for its uh, tech capabilities, but. Uh, it offers a lot of the, its capabilities for free. It does have some other stuff like file transfer and printing capabilities that it does charge for if you want to go to the pro level of it. But its free version works with all of its products and it's uh, what I use. haven't paid a cent except for something, uh, uh, an iPhone app that we'll talk about later. Uh, but basically you would just, uh, after you create your account, log into your account the one that you would uh, be using. It's going to show up uh, that you don't have any PCs, but in mine, <clears throat> it's going to show all the computers that I have attached to it uh, thus far. But attaching PCs to it is really easy. It has a pretty good user interface uh, that is really easy to navigate through. It, it's very secure. Uh, it goes over its secure connection over the web. Uh, but as you see here, it has all my laptops, my main computers, my work computer, uh, my wife's computer, my mom's computer, because I do, do you know, uh, computer work for her. If I wanted to see what was on any of these screens, I would just click this remote control, and it would pop up an interface to show, let's see, uh, we could see what's on <clears throat> my wife's computer, which is just in the other room. Uh, she's probably was just working on something, or it's just straight up... Uh, kind of uh, being f not used in on screensaver mode but once we get in there we can see what's going on it connects connects to the little software that it already has been installed on there asks for the code which all my codes are the same but you could set it to whatever you want or use your active directory if it's a work computer <clears throat> so you don't have to remember a bunch of passwords uh, it could sync up using that as well <clears throat> so it recognizes uh, what is going on uh, creates a connection and then it'll, it'll, you can see it's encrypted down here at the bottom so nobody else could see kind of what's going on uh, but but uh, when you're done uh, you can see it is connected and looks like there's some updates that need to be ran on her computer she was doing some audio recording and uh, watching some YouTube stuff but if I needed to do anything uh, check my email from here from her PC or get to any of her files to mani manipulate anything on her screen. I could full screen it <clears throat> and go straight from there. So I could go ahead and you know perform these updates for her and move the mouse just like I'm standing right in front of it. And if I were to go stand right in front of it, I would see this exact same thing. It announces that there's a log me in session up at the top and who's logged in, you know what user, and, and uh, gives a lot of information. It's as easy as just logging into a web-based GUI, uh, clicking this Add Computer. It'll launch some software to it, and it also goes to uh, popular mobile devices that have apps. So Droid has an app called Log Me In Ignition, and so does uh, the iPhone has Log Me In Ignition. And I'll show you the kind of the capabilities of that as well too. So here we are with our mobile device, and we have our PC right here, the one that we are going to remotely administer, and it has the log me in installed on there and with our account. So all I'm going to do is launch this uh, log me in account uh, 
app right there. It's called Log Me in Ignition. You download that from the App Store, and I believe it's twenty dollars right now. It varies from uh, twenty dollars, twenty-five to sometimes fifteen if you catch it on a good day. But it logs into your account <clears throat> and shows you all the PC that you have connected into your account right there and uh, just the same account that we reviewed last time with my mom's PC, my wife's, my work PC but for this sake we're going to go to my laptop <clears throat> so it connects and it starts its whole uh, login process and on the PC once it starts getting connected the user at this end will be notified at the top middle you'll see that uh, after it's done logging in you'll get one icon at the top and it'll say uh, log me in remote session right at the top there log me in remote session and you could click on that and see who's connected what username and everything like that but on the actual uh, mobile device you'll see it gives you some quick tips on how to actually use it as an inputting device because you know you don't have a standard keyboard and mouse but it's basically going to show on there so it's portrait our landscape so we can go ahead and turn it and we see our desktop right there and anything that we do to move here we could manipulate. So let's say we have uh, a security camera like this one that we have installed here. Uh, you know, and it, it'll it'll work with anything. So we just go ahead and tap on that. It's going to launch it. And let's say we have something secure here that we don't want anybody else to see. It's going to load up uh, just like if we have a locally installed security camera, we have a webcam, any type of video input on this computer, you can turn into a remote security camera on your mobile device now. So if anybody was going to access that, uh, you would be able to catch them in the act uh, in real time if, uh, uh, if they were to you know, reach in and grab it. Just like so, we have it accessing on the user brow browser and it's updating <clears throat> on here as well. So you have documents, any kind of any kind of uh, you know security camera feeds that you have, and you could see on the top here we are accessing if we exit out of the session. We are accessing all of this not on a local network. It's uh, through the 3G network. So anywhere in the world, we'd be able to we'd be able to. Uh, see what's going on and you can see up at the top corner there with under the AT&T it does say we are on 3G so no Wi-Fi needed uh, no local network and you have yourself a security camera or remote administration any computer that you have on these PCs in your log me in account you could access through your mobile device and uh, with not much latency it's pretty fast for uh, the capabilities that it offers and then uh, coupled with any other of the tools that I've told you about uh, it's a pretty pretty good tool uh, thank you